Hey guys, so I'm excited today because we're gonna install this. This is the new Stita Triax short throw shifter. It reduces the throw by about 30%. It's made of a nice billet aluminum. Also, it's got a nice blue finish on the body. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first step is going to be, you want to move both seats all the way back because you're gonna go ahead and remove the, there's two panels, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. To remove these, you'll just pull right here and then just, just carefully work it. It's gonna make that lovely sound. And then I store these on the passenger side. Go ahead and do the passenger side. Same thing. Pull it. careful with it because you don't want to break the tabs or any of the plastic. Now there are two seven millimeter bolts, one right here, one right here, on each side. So we'll come to the driver's side. You'll just go ahead and remove those bolts. The next step is going to be getting turn panel removal tools and there are two clips on each side. One in this area, one right here, one right here, and then one right here. So what you'll do is you'll get the tool, try to get underneath or the tool around the clips and just kind of pop it up. I don't have another person to video this, so I will be doing this off camera. I won't be able to video it, but you'll start, you'll get this, you'll get one side up. I recommend doing the passenger side first. That get way. this side up, then get the driver's side up and just work your way down, being very careful, just kind of pulling it up and it's gonna, sits flat it's gonna start doing this that that is okay try not to break anything now as you can see i've got part uh, of the center console up and i was wrong there aren't any clips on this side there are just clips right here it's gonna go upside down and one right there now we'll just slowly work our way forward and I'm actually going to have to use two hands again because there are clips up in here. Now popping these clips loose is going to be loud and it's going to sound like you're breaking the, the console. If you're doing it right, don't stress out about it. Although it is a little nerve wracking, but as you can see, I've got it up. Now there are going to be, there's a uh, harness right there. And then you can see the wire to the harness over there. You'll undo those. Once you do that, if you can see that orange clip or that orange clip, there are five of those total. Five total orange clips. What you'll do is because you'll want to remove the, the shift boot, is just take your hands, get under there, and just push around each clip to try to pop these. So one thing I forgot to mention is the factory shift ball or if you have an aftermarket shift ball, you'll take, just get a good grip and turn it. It's held on with Loctite, so it is it is quite tough to get off, but you'll have to take off the shift knob before you can take off the shift. The next step, there are three little tabs like this around the collar. What you'll do is take a pick or a flathead screwdriver, work your way around to, to release the shift boot. Just kind of push it away, lift it up a little bit, and just do that until the boot pops off. And you can go ahead and pull out the sound material or the soundproof material. Now the next step is if you get a, uh, a tap or something that's small enough to fit on the end of this and just hammer the uh this pin out when you do that you'll be able to pull the spring off now what i did to get this pin out since i didn't have my tap i'm not doing this at my house i'm doing it at my dad's i found a just a random screw and it had just a flat side so i use that you can tell that the screw is now damaged but it the tap serves no purpose and there are no, there's not threading inside. And for the Steeda shifter, we won't be reusing this tap. Now the next step is going to be to undo this 
bolt right here. That'll allow the pop-up collar to come off. And then that will be it as far as the interior of the car goes. What you'll do is go ahead and support the transmission. We'll go ahead and loosen this these two 15 millimeter bolts. And then there are four 18 millimeter bolts for the cross member. Go ahead and loosen those and remove the cross member. Once you get under here, there will be two 10 millimeter bolts holding this bracket on. I've already loosened them up. You'll use a 10 millimeter deep socket with a bunch of extinct extensions. The I put a six inch extension and two three inch three inch extensions together and use the drill and they I got them right off. If you have the stock mounting bracket there will be you will actually have to pry this uh, bracket because there is a clamp on one side and it's a pain in the butt to get off but you'll just keep working it try to get that bracket off uh, I do recommend sliding it off the base of the shifter uh, after undoing the bolts before you start yanking on it trying to get that clip out I also went ahead and undid let's see if I can I haven't completely removed it yet, but this is a 10 millimeter bolt. I used a ratcheting wrench. It's also a pain in the butt as well. I'm going to try and do this install without removing the drive shaft. Steeda, in their directions, removes the drive shaft and the uh, exhaust to a certain point. I'm going to see if I can not do that and try and install it without removing that. So once you get those bolts done, there will be four bolts at the bottom of the shifter you'll undo those four bolts and then I'll have this removed and that'll just fall off. So once you undo the four bolts under the uh, the shifter itself you'll pull back this little rubber boot right here and then that plate you'll just pry that plate off. Now we don't need these bushings right here so we're gonna go ahead and remove those and I'm gonna just leave the stock shifter linkage in place after you take out that ten, the 10 millimeter bolt uh, mounting the shifter to the transmission, there will be two, two 10 millimeter bolts in here that you'll want to remove. And then the shifter rod will actually fall out, so watch your face so you don't get hit with it. And you'll be able to remove the shifter and the mount from the inside of the car. So as you can see, after you undo the uh, or you remove the shifter rod this takes a little bit of maneuvering will actually pull out from inside of the car and now is to start assembling the Steeda shifter but what we'll do is we'll go ahead and attach the linkage arm or the mounting arm to the body I'm gonna use blue Loctite. They recommend purple, but blue is a little stronger, and they said that blue should be okay. So we're gonna use blue Loctite. Go ahead and mount the linkage on, or the mounting arm to the body. So once you get the mounting arm mounted to the body, we're just gonna go ahead and fish it through the top. Now this helps if you do have an extra person because. The aluminum is very sharp and you also don't want it falling and hitting everything. So we'll just fish that down. There we go. Alright, here we are back under the car. You can see the shifter body as well as the mounting arm. Here's the shifter linkage system. I've already applied the grease to it. So we're going to go ahead and install or attach the linkage system to the shifter. Once we do that, then we'll mount the bottom plate on using the supplied hardware. It's very important that these two holes face the back of the car. If you notice one side's flat, this is gonna face the front, this will face the rear. This part was kind of a pain in the butt, but there's a piece that goes on the back of the shifter. What I did is I put the 10 millimeter bolt that attaches the arm to the transmission down here I just attached that so that the shifter wouldn't move that much and then I put two bolts in the bottom plate to hold the shifter linkage and the shifter together and I didn't tighten them all the way I just made it to where this wouldn't fall then I attached this part which was a pain in the ass because I had to use 
um, an Allen wrench, and that was it. And there's not a lot of room to move, and it took a while. There were four bolts, pain in the butt. Once you get those done, I went ahead and remounted the shifter bracket, the shifter mounting bracket. Went ahead and tightened that up, and then I put the last two bolts into this bottom plate, and then tightened everything down. Also, another thing that makes it really easy is lower your transmission. That way, you have more room to work. But once you get done with all of that, jack your transmission back up and attach your cross member, and then we'll go inside to do the rest. So I decided to do uh, an experiment because I did get some noise in the cabin. It's not major, it's nothing that I couldn't live with, but I wanted to see how much I could knock that down. Um, so I took, I went to the audio store and got supposedly the best sound uh, padding and just put it in different parts of the shifter. Like I put it at the base, the side, I also put it at the top around the hole in the transmission tunnel. Put it on the shifter bracket and I also I put it at the top of the mounting arm as well as in the grooves uh, on the sides just to see how much I can get the noise to cut down. Like I said, it's not terrible, but I want to see how well I can get it. As far as vibration, nothing to worry about. So we'll see how this works. Hey guys, I just wanted to give my first impression on the Steeda Triax short throw shifter. The shifts feel better than stock. I feel as the Steeda shifter is a good medium between performance and comfortability while driving for daily purposes. Uh, the throws are, are shorter for sure. Performance wise, it seems as though it's gonna do its job. We'll see, I haven't uh, gone under an extreme heavy load yet. So we'll see how that works, but everything does feel solid. Hopefully someone will be able to come up with a remedy for the shift linkage, and that will make make everything even better. That's the only improvement that I can think of that, that could be made to the shifter. So I definitely recommend it. If y'all have any questions, uh, let me know. I'll be doing a more in-depth review on the shifter after I drive it for about a week or so, put some miles on it and see how it holds up. But y'all take care. And have